Hey friends, it's Rob with Rise, and we're excited to share with you something we're calling Stories of Strength. This past season, we've been talking a lot about hope, because there's times in our lives where hope seems to be fleeting, or there's moments where life just smacks us right dab in the face, or the country shuts down for month after month after month. But the point is, there's still hope. Hope in believing and holding on to the promises of God. We've got stories that we can't wait to share with you with friends of ours who have that same hope. So we hope you enjoy Stories of Strength. Hi, we're the Postmas family, and this is our story. Tripp was diagnosed with a brain tumor in 2017 when he was nine years old. Um, we have been fighting it since. Uh, his last scans showed that they took out the last tumor. Um, he did have three reoccurrences. He has his next MRIs in two weeks, uh, just praying for a clear scan. It's a, daily, it's a daily thing that you wake up and it's always in your mind. You're always thinking about it, that what's the next scan gonna be? But yet, you know that God's gonna use this stuff to bring glory to his name. So really for us, every day looks like, how are we going to, how are we gonna join with him in that, that journey? Some people have said, how do you do it? One day at a time, that you just, you can't dwell on the negativity. You have to look for the future, the hope of the future. It's, it's the only thing that brings you comfort and peace, knowing that God's in control of everything. He's got a plan for us and we are along for the ride. We might as well make the best of it. Seeing other people are praying for you just brings so much peace and so much comfort. There really are groups of people from all over the world that are holding this family up in prayer. And that, that, that brings a ton of hope. It brings a ton of joy. Every day I wake up and go upstairs and check to see if he's breathing and say thank you Lord for this beautiful day. Just another day. You just thank you for another day. It, every day is a gift. The stories go on because there's more diagnoses every day. So if we can help out one family that doesn't know how to order food at, at the hospital or uh, doesn't know how to pack a go bag full of Nerf darts and video games, I mean, the list is endless of things that you can you can do to pass time in a hospital. When I think about hope, I think about how hope is living every day to its fullest, knowing you don't know if it's going to be your first or your last, but just knowing that God's in control and we just live as normal as possible and live on faith. I want to turn around and never look back at cancer. A good friend of mine asked how we do it. How, how do you keep doing? How do you keep going on this journey? And the answer was you spend five minutes with this kid and you realize that's how. He's just a great, energetic, fun-loving, God-loving young man who's respectful and kind and that makes it a lot.